So we have a tribe that was the guardian of the Ark of the Covenant, the Tabernacle. From that tribe, it was almost completely destroyed by the Israelites. Their capital was burned down to the ground by the Philistines. And then we have a king coming from that same tribe, from an outcast tribe. All right? Everybody are in the zone, so we're going to go in and analyze the battle? Yes. All right. Let's go there and we'll dive in. Shalom. Welcome. This is Jezreel Valley. So really quickly, east, west, north, south. Okay, we got Mount Tabor, which is Mount of Transfiguration behind us. We got Valley of Armageddon, which is exactly the same viewpoint that you saw from right over there, that highest peak, that's Muhaka. You've just been there. You basically cross the valley, now you see it from the other side. All right, the mountains over there are Carmel Mountains. Nazareth is right behind us, okay. Down there, this is Samaria. And the palace of Jezebel is straight behind me. Where I'm standing, straight line, that's the palace of Jezebel. So if you see any dogs over there, <laughs> stay away from those. So a really quick story before I get to hand, hand over the mic to my dad. I grew up in a very biblical area, as you can see. You can count like 20 different Bible stories right here. If it's Gideon, if it's Endor, if it's Gilboa, Nazareth, Nain, Cana, Carmel Mountains, Gilead, Mount Transfiguration, Bechan, I just, and it goes on, so on and so forth. When I was a little boy, it was my turn to plow the fields. So my dad is here that, uh, uh, and I can, uh, I can get a dirty look when I finish this right now. So and we, we used to have a, a, a John Deere 2010. Nothing runs like a deer. Always remember that, nothing runs like a deer. So I need to plow the fields. And I went to, to plow the fields and it was muddy. So I got stuck without John Deere all the way up to the chassis. How old were you? 15, 16, something like that. So it was right in the valley underneath us, the valley of Megiddo or the valley of Armageddon, which is drained by the Kishon River. Okay, if you remember the book of Judges with Sisera. Hold on, it gets better. I'm getting off the tractor and I'm going back home, slushing my way through the mud. Walks in, sorry my ringtone, walks in, and then I see my dad sits over there and I said, I think the tractor is stuck. <laughs> I think. Way down there, like way down. <laughs> and my dad says to me, he said, if you read the scriptures, you knew not to plow the field when the ground is wet. And I looked at him and said, Dad, I don't remember having John Deere in the Bible. I do read my scriptures every night. I don't remember John Deere in the Bible. He said, if you remember, Sisera got stuck at the same mud as you did. Difference is, he was chased by Deborah and Barak, and he was slain by Yael right there in Megiddo, where we were this, this morning. He said, so he got stuck with two horsepowers, you got stuck with 200 horsepowers, but it's the same mud. <laughs>
the Sea of Galilee, where I'm at right now, out on the Dex restaurant. Had an incredible meal, <laughs> great evening on the Sea of Galilee with my pomegranate popsicle. Tasty. What's that? Camera, man, we're recording. We're going, we're going to the Dead Sea. You're recording me back. No, 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 we're, we're recording us walking down to the, to the Dead Sea. I'm with you now. Yeah. I thought you were recording that way. No, I'm recording you and me. <laughs> Hi, me. Yeah, we're going down to the Dead Sea. That's awesome. <laughs> Two guys from Memphis. <laughs> Bucket list stuff. That's right, man. Two wild and crazy guys. And, and a crazy girl, too, named uh, Jerry. <laughs> Does God still reside in the Dead Sea? I if hope he so. doesn't, I'm not going. Well, I think he does. I think, okay. I think we're safe. I think we're Come safe. <laughs>
you guys saw in these 10 days why this is the place where we finish our study tour. Because this is where everything began. They're gonna come and tell them, what are you talking about? This is, I don't think, book of Genesis here. Let's read again between the lines. When David was crowned by Samuel, by Samuel, who knew that he's gonna be the next king? Jesse, his brothers, mm -hmm. the Almighty, and a few, a few goats, right? These are the people and the goats that knew that this is gonna be the next king of Israel. No one else knew that, all right? When David slung the, the, uh, uh, struck the, the giant, he got Michal, the princess, as his bride. So here he got the kosher stamp, the political kosher stamp of him being the next king because he just married the princess. And now when King David is being crowned, no one asks any questions. Everybody knows, all right, of course, he's married to the princess. All right? A thousand years after David, who was born from the same lineage? Jesus. If Jesus was of born, would have born to the, to the son of Jesse, who is Jesse? We don't know. Samuel does, he crowned him. He didn't want to the beginning, but then God said, no, 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 yeah. you listen to me, you crowned the little one, right? If this battle would not have happened, David would not have become king accepted by the nation, all right? So this is the political stamp of David becoming the king. This is where the house of David actually was born, right in the valley underneath us. And that, a thousand years later, we're gonna give the authority of the lineage of Jesus, who came from the same house of David. I'm extremely, extremely happy and, and honored to have the group here actually in my home, uh, in the Ella Valley. And today we concluded the tour by analyzing the Battle of David and Goliath. And here in the Ella Valley, it's probably the best place you can really analyze the story in 1 Samuel 17, verse by verse, second by second, and really see how the Bible, Bible truly comes to life. And it's such an amazing uh, 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 opportunity for, for all of us to share the scriptures, especially with Bot Radio, that scriptures is all about Bot Radio. And uh, uh, again, I'm just thrilled and honored and praise be to him.